All right, welcome back, guys. I've just got off at Hua Lumpong, which is uh, the central station in Bangkok. Well, was the central station in Bangkok. It's now changed to Bang Se. But either way, it's a very famous landmark in Chinatown. And I want to show you a street just by the station. It's going to be absolutely perfect for street food beginners. We're going to be getting three different classic street food dishes all in one place. Let's go. All right, so this is how you tell it's a vegan festival, the J Festival, because you've got these like yellow and red uh, vegetarian signs, and that means everything they're selling here is uh, vegan or vegetarian friendly. We will come back actually and try some of this, see what it's all about. Have you had? Maybe not. So the reason I love this street so much is that, especially for like sort of beginner street food enthusiasts you can get three really good dishes that it, pretty much everyone can eat um, unless you don't eat pork and then we're absolutely fucked. Um, but if you do eat pork everyone can eat these it's not too spicy there's no crazy stuff in there um, so let me show you exactly what I'm talking about I'm gonna grab the three dishes now probably gonna sit at here which is sea moricot um, because not everywhere has seats at the moment um, but yeah, I'm gonna grab some satay, gonna grab some of this, gonna grab some um, tom yum noodles and I will be back. Right, we've also, we've got some fish moi here. This is a really famous stall um, selling, yeah, fish moi soup, which is like, yeah, in a, in a clay pot. Yeah, really, 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 really famous. Really, really good. Aloy mag. Yeah, you've got to try this one out. We're not gonna try this today because this isn't really for beginners. We are going to start off at Trokrang. All right, and this is good for me because I never carry cash with me, right? So now pretty much everywhere, street food, coffee shops, everywhere, you can pay by QR code, which is like a code you use with your banking app. Ready, Cap? Ready, Cap. Um, morning. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to run you through. Ah, oh, see, Leng, Leng. Is, is really, really good, but we're not going to get that. We are going to get spicy Tom Yum dried noodles with wontons. You want, uh, they have only one, 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 one. If you want more, you have to order more. Oh, okay. No, one's fine. Yeah, yeah. Crispy? Yeah. Like this, like this. Oh, may I have? No, uh, you want to be like this, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, this one, please. Uh, you want more or you want only one? Just one is fine, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put it in the pan. I'm Oh, Gary, Gao. Gary. Gary. <laughs> come on, come. Hello. Come. All right, so I had a little bit of help there um, from a really friendly couple that spoke really good uh, English. So they actually ordered for me, so I'm not entirely sure where I left the video. Um, but we've ordered uh, Tom Yum with egg noodles uh, and an extra boiled wonton. I've said no fried wonton because I'm, I'm getting all and leo. So, um, yeah, um, we're going to grab this and then we're going to go over there. We're going to order some more food. Then we're going to sit down and run you through all the different dishes, okay? 65 baht. Okay, cup and cup. Bye bye. Cup and cup. Cup and my cup. Number one. Number one. Cup. All right, so from here, truck rung, we're just going to walk directly across the road. One of the most famous Kanwideng shops in Bangkok. So next I've ordered 10 pork satay from Chongki, a famous satay shop in Bangkok. And like, I'm talking, this is really famous. There's a really good story. Not sure how true it is, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, when we sit down. Um, there's no dining in, because they're a little bit paranoid about COVID. Um, so we're gonna grab it. Hopefully we're gonna sit down at Sea Moricot, although all the seats have now been taken. I will find somewhere, I promise. There's the boss man. Look at all this pork. 
All right, so here we've got, I've got the best seat in the house, look at this. So we've got the Mordang, or Krob, Gong Tieng, Chinese sausage, crispy pork, char siu red pork. On the table, we've got all the goodies. So we've got pickled vinegar, chilies in pickled vinegar, just normal chilies. And these are not spicy at all. These are basically a green pepper, kopong kab. And then look at this. We've got our lovely arrangement of pork and rice. And then we've got the red sauce, the nam kao moreng. Um, but I've ordered mine separately. Usually it comes poured all over the top, but I actually don't really massively like the sauce too much in these places. It's quite sweet. So I've ordered mine separately, so it's not too sweet. We've got some sweet dark soy sauce. Uh, see you one, I think. Um, and that's just to pour over the top if you want, but again, it's too sweet for me, so I don't. Okay, so seeing I'm at uh, seeing where I've got Khao Mo Deng, um, and I'm sitting here in everyone else's food, it would be rude of me not to try their dish first, okay? So let me show you exactly what's on the plate. Um, so we've got some red pork. That's that Mo Deng. And basically, I'll explain that a little bit more in a sec, but the Chinese sausage, Gun Chiang, which is like, some people call it Chinese chorizo, but believe me, it's very, very sweet. Um, and then you've got that mu crab, which is a crispy pork. All right. Comes with a bit of cucumber, all served on rice with like a sort of gummy egg that's been cooked in the same sauce. Okay, and if you want, you can pour on a bit of this sauce. So I'm going to put a bit on, but I'm just going to put a bit on the side because I just want to try it. I don't want to absolutely cover my my pork in it because I know I don't massively like it. What I do like though, are those, is that chilli vinegar. So I'm going to put a bit of that on. I'm going to scoop a little bit of the actual normal chilies on. And I'm also going to just pour on a little bit of that sauce that I said I wasn't going to pour on, but seeing this is a video and it's for you guys, I'm going to try it. All right, so I'll try and get a little bit of everything. I'll get some crispy pork. I'll get some of the Chinese sausage, the mudang. I'll get some of the sauce, some of the chilies. Mm. All right, there's a lot going on there. The sauce, as I said, is a little bit sweet, um, but it's like that everywhere. It's not, um, it's not this shop that just does a sweet sauce. All these Kaomu Dengs are sweet. Um, how they make the sauce, they actually, it's, it's, it's the marinade from the, the Mordang, the Char Siu pork, and like, it's like the drippings, and they mix it up with some flour and recook it, and that's what um, makes the sauce. And the sauce is quite nice. It's just, for my personal palate, a little bit sweet. Mm. This is definitely one of the better ones. It's got like a how do you like a, a bean pasty kind of um, flavour to it. Mm. Okay, the mudang's great. Very very lean without being too dry. The crispy pork's well seasoned and crispy, but it isn't like that quintessential, like bubbly skinned crispy pork. It's a lot thinner. Mm. As I said before, this is like, this is a very Westerner friendly dish um, while still being really authentic. Like a lot of kids like this dish. Like you see some kids eating this out on the street. It's very inoffensive and not spicy at all. I'm gonna try the egg because it looks quite gummy. I would say the, prob the egg's probably the best thing. It's not bad, it's not my favourite dish anywhere, but if I was going to eat it somewhere, this would probably be the place to eat it. Right, next on to these Tom Yum noodles. Now, I would usually get the soup on the side, which is what I should have done, but I forgot to ask her. I got confused when my friend started helping me because I said I wanted dry. Usually I say, can I have the soup on the side, like, yeah. Yek soup yek, which means soup on the side, which is what I did with this kamudang as well. But anyway, um, it's a bit messy with the soup when you're eating it on the street. Big one, son. Uh, not sure if this is prawn or pork or a mix. Okay. 
egg noodles, and these are like thick uh, than usual flat egg noodles, which I do really like. I can't remember the name, but I will put it over the top. Some deep fried tofu, uh, some puffed up tofu. Uh, sliced pork, and then you've got minced pork and chili, peanuts, spring onion, coriander, and we're just gonna mix all that together. Oh yeah, I forgot I got an egg as well. Um, we're gonna mix all that together. Ooh, got a little bit of liver too. Mix all that together, and then we're gonna see how spicy that is. Not very spicy, I did ask for extra spicy. Last time, mine was absolutely covered. All right, first up, I'm gonna try that big fat dumpling. I don't know if you saw my video of giant dumplings at Neymar Tarpra MRT station. You gotta check that out if you didn't. Mm. It's pork. It's very good. Mm. Let's get a bit of everything. Let's get some pork. Let's get some of the um, the liver. And I love, love, love these these fatter egg noodles. For me, it's perfect. This is one of my favorite Tom Yum soup shops because when I ask for no sugar, so I said my my say pan, which means don't put any sugar. It comes very very spicy and very very salty. So for some people it wouldn't be balanced enough, but for me, that combination of salty, really sharp, sour. Um, you've got loads of different textures. You've got peanuts. You've got the soft pork. You've got soft liver. You've got the minced pork. So texturally, there's a lot going on. You've, it's coated in garlic oil. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. And these noodles are kind of like cow soy noodles, or they're just a little bit thicker, kind of like a fettuccine, something like that. So again, texturally, it's a lot different from what you'd usually get. And the puffed up tofu, I have to say, is much better when you get soup because it kind of absorbs the flavors of the soup. I mean, that egg is like, that egg is like something my wife would cook. That is done to death. I'm not even going to talk about that. But on a whole, that is a very, very good bowl of noodles for 65 baht. And it would have been 60 baht, but it would have been 50 baht if I'd had no egg and got it in a bag. But they charge 5 baht for the, um, for the little cardboard box bowl, which is fair enough. And then they charge 10 baht for the egg, um, which wouldn't usually be a problem. But this is absolutely done to death. All right, last up, I'm gonna try the more satay, pork satay from Chonky next door. All right, now this is a bit messy because I've got it all in plastic bags, but we've got ajat salad, which is uh, cucumber, onion, and those same green chilies we've got with the kalmu dang, but with uh, like a vinegar and sugar uh, dressing. I'm not gonna actually, I'm not actually gonna try this because I can't be bothered to get it out. We've got that satay sauce. Now, if people weren't watching me, I would probably just pour the satay sauce all over that pork, uh, and that would be absolutely delicious. All right, so this is, um, the when I said there was a story about this, right? Look at this sauce, right? Looks absolutely incredible. Apparently, one of the big universities, it might have been Tamasat University in Bangkok, did a study and they tried to work out what was in the sauce because it was so delicious. Um, it's a family secret, of course, all right? Now also, if you have a look at these, these are the satay, right? You can see that coconut cream across where they've brushed it to keep them moist while they're grilling them. Um, a little bit like I did down at Tardin Deng. Um, and there's some spices on here, some turmeric, bit of coriander, a few other bits and pieces. All right, so I'm gonna have a little dip. Oh, look at that. All right, let's go. The sauce is like heavy, heavy, heavy on the lemongrass. It's a lot thinner than your usual, like sweet, thick satay sauce in Bangkok. Like the, the sticks are unbelievably soft and juicy. Mm. Really well spiced and 
this little coconut that they put over the shop just keeps it so moist and so juicy. I'll tell you what I'd love to do. I'd love to put, as I said, some of this satay sauce on top of the uh, kalmudang. I'm going to do it anyway, fuck it. I hope no one saw that. That's the way to go, guys. Mm. Okay, so when I say this is like the perfect street food street for beginners, I don't mean you have to have never eaten street food to come to this place. So what I did mean was that there's so many good options on here. It's right by Hua Long Pong, like I said, which is now on the MRT line. So it connects to the whole of Bangkok. It's near Chinatown. Um, so it's a very easy one to get around. A lot of people here do speak English, um, and even if you don't speak, in, even if they don't speak English, um, you're not going to have any trouble ordering at any of these places. It's all very um, tourist-friendly food, but at the same time, it's very authentic. So it's not like it's not like uh, Thai food that's been like tampered with to make it too Western taste. But nothing here is too offensive. Like if you don't like, like my wife doesn't like shrimp paste and. Uh, bala and different types of fish and funky flavors and stuff this is very safe Chinese Thai food but it's very well done all right guys so I hope you enjoyed that little DIY food tour really easy you can do it yourself just jump off Hua Lung Pong I will leave directions opening times um, in a Google link in the description um, so just please check that out a lot of people ask me for directions it's just that it's always in the description um, I'll put prices down there uh, try to English translations if I can so you can just point to it you can show them your phone have no problems um, if you do want to do an actual food tour my food tours are back up and running um, so you can just get in touch through Instagram or Facebook and I will take you around I'll show you all my favorite places in Bangkok Bangkok is reopening hopefully in November um, so look guys I just hope I can see you soon all right so I hope you enjoyed this video please leave a comment in the comment section below to everyone that's been doing that like I absolutely love it I love inter interacting with you guys we all love food um, and I just want to share my love of Thai food with you guys which seems to be working at the moment all right so any suggestions for future videos in the comment section I will get that done please like share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one